anything. He's doing anything. He does ungodly things, right? He does things. Uh, he, I mean, there's no end. I mean, as far as the hell, hell's like a bottomless pit. I mean, I'll it's, say to this. the imagination of that. There's I've no been end. in my downside. Yeah. With all this, like, yeah. I've been on the streets here for two years. Two years. I was here on the streets for two years. You, and you out now, right? You I finally built myself yeah, back yeah. up. Got a job. Because you look clean. You look, yeah, don't look like you're still there. A lot better. <laughs> That's yeah. For damn sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've had my downside, and it took, like I said, two years to get myself back up yeah. and then actually start believing in it again. Because that's where my belief started to go down was because I couldn't see any hope. And hope is, to me, a very dangerous thing from when I was going through all the struggles. But now I can see that there is hope as long as you keep working toward it. So, so now you see hope as a good thing. Yes. Like before, I saw it as a bad thing, and it was I had this constant thought of like I'm never gonna make it. Like, I'm just going to be a nobody, I guess you could say that. But then once I started putting in the work and believing that I could do it and then getting the support from God, like... Now, is that God, when you say that, is that Jesus or uh, uh, just a, yeah. another force? I mean, Because like, I talk to Jehovah's Witness, yeah. they don't see Jesus as God. You know that, right? Yeah. They, they think there's somebody higher than Jesus. Right. <laughs> so you, you know that. Know How come that. they don't know that, man? What's up with them? I mean, the sad thing is with everyone nowadays, they don't believe in a lot of things. Like I said, I have my little controversies, but I still believe in them, and I still believe that there's good in it. Like, he brings good, and then when there's... So here's the thing. It's like, when you start doing bad things, like mm -hmm. me, I was a drug addict, and I did all that shit. You don't do none of that now? I'm clean. I still smoke a little bit, yeah. like with vaping and all that, and right. maybe a little weed here and there, but right. I quit all the hardship. Right. Uh, and like it told me, it's like if you keep going down this road, you're gonna end up in a bad place. But if you stop this and actually build yourself back up, you're gonna make it higher and higher and higher. And like ever since I realized that, it's like God, like God put this in my mind of like when I was sleeping one night on the fucking floor, uncomfortable, and it's like you're better. You're better than this. Just put in the work. What's your goals now? Do you used to have goals? Or? I mean, like I said, I want to get into music really well. Um, and, and most likely, you've been honest so far that, that one of those goals I mean, is a I'm heavy a drummer, metal band, right? I'm a drummer, but yeah. um, I mean, the music that I listen to is metal. And right. also, I like to make, um, I don't know if you know what it is, but it's called lo-fi music. So I love the piano. It brings so much emotion, and I love emotion. So it's kind of a thing of I would love to do have a band for like a side of doing drumming to get my anger out. But then on my other side, I want to play the piano and bring peace and joy and um, like relaxation. So what category would that music go in? That would be lo-fi or um, emotional piano. Emotional piano. And it doesn't even need. Both That's notes. dark, ain't it? It's not dark. No. Like, I mean... Because you said get your emotions it out. It depends get anger out. on the emotions that you make. Because with the piano, you can It make can be emotion. dark, you saying. It can be dark, yeah. yes. I'm not going to disagree with that. It can yeah. be dark. Yeah. But, like like I said, I want to do where my darkness is and anger. I want to put it into drumming and then metal band. But then on my other side, on my own, I want to make peace and... Um, so but, like, But you know you're not capable of doing that? Well, I know I'm capable, it's just I'm currently working toward it, which it's harder but, nowadays. But, but men, let me ask you, why did Christ give his life? Why did Christ give his life? When you think about that. That is a fantastic question, because you can't really answer it. Like, Would you agree that Christ said, nothing good is in man? In Romans, yeah, Paul even told us that. One of the followers of Christ in Romans chapter 7. So if nothing good is in man, that means man is incapable of doing good. Because even his good, according to the Bible, is called corruption. Now he can get praises of men, you know what I'm saying? Because they can, what the, we call in our understanding, we say good works. But in the eyes of God, he condemns all men. He said none is good. That's scripture in Romans Three, verse 10 and verse 12 it said none is good not one and it says none is righteous not one that's why I say you're not capable of doing it not not you can do it on a lower level like you said that 
that music what did you call it low key lo-fi lo-fi so lo-fi music look, look at look, look at which how you wording it lo-fi and that's exactly the frequency of song song hell hell is the lower places of the earth that's where hell is the emotions of man are in hell man is in hell you know what I'm saying? Even if we look around, we see all these people walking, riding bikes, scooters, uh, 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 electric scooters. They're in hell. And they don't know it. Because it's different levels of hell, right? It's different levels. But hell goes lower, 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 lower. But absent from the body or spirit, because we're not connected to Jesus Christ, who is heaven, we're not married to him. Man cannot ascend to him. Man can only descend into the, the bottomless pit, which was made for Satan and his angels. Do you believe in the devil and, his, and, and demons? you believe in that? Because you've seen them. You've seen them in people. Yeah. That, through people. Yeah. <laughs> the behaviors of people is, is we call it demonic. You know, Ozzy Osbourne and them. They tell you, the, the behaviors they do on stage. People eat feces and drink urine, you know, and, and mess with little children, you know, little kids, and you see the same sex stuff going on, yeah, men and women. That's all lore. This is all rebellion against the Creator who created all things and then put His book here for us to, to look upon, and then man just. Even though he don't, he doesn't fear God. He doesn't fear those words that's written in that book, and that's what makes him guilty. You know, and you know, so that that gives him no excuse right there. So man has no excuse. So even in his rebellion, him not knowing anything or whatever, he has an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To repent and show himself worthy, to receive forgiveness. But first he has to acknowledge that there's no good in him. Absolutely nothing. Otherwise, Christ didn't... He can't say Christ died for him. That's where the, uh, the wisdom of God comes in. Because so many people don't see that Jesus is the gift of God. The mercy of God. The grace and the love of God. That when we receive him, we're justified in the eyes of God. Because we're saying God exists. And Jesus is the proof of God. This, this, the only way we can prove to God we love him and believe in God is we have to receive Jesus Christ. The object of our faith is God's glory. That's God's glory. And that's what pleases our Heavenly Father. So the music that will glorify him exalts the name Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? King David played the harp and and the Bible talks about all these musical instruments. Praise him with the trumpet, the, the, the cymbals, the tambourines. You know? That's a, and, and, and then when we exalt Jesus, all of heaven rejoices. They say this one gets it. And you're looking at a world, millions, trillions of people who don't believe. You know, they're, they're, the way they live is proof. They don't believe. Like we said, you see what they're wearing, what they're drinking, what they're eating, what we put on ourselves, the tattoos and stuff that we put on. I'm just talking to him. He got Satan tattoos all over him. You know? So we show how we raise our children. We show daily that we worship Satan and not Jesus Christ. You're learning something today, ain't you? You're learning yeah. something, yeah. So we show it daily. So. I'm saying man is already in his judgment right now. So when he dies, you know, I know the, 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 the preacher always put them in heaven. They say everybody's in heaven, don't they? They do. No matter how that person lives, that preacher ain't going to say nothing negative about that dead person. I guess that's he's showing respect or whatever for the family, but he's lying. He's lying. Because no matter how wicked that person is living, you know, they don't, they blocking out, as you said, the existence of heaven and hell. 
they're blocking it out. They're deceiving the people. Television does it, the movies does it, everything on our cell phone, everything does it. It's a lie. This whole world is a lie. And it's designed to deceive men. That's what the Bible warns us. It tells us, love not the world, neither the things of the world. Love the world. If any man love the world, the love of God is not in him. But man should be seeking, the number one thing he should be seeking is what? The kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's eternal life. But he can't get that without the fear of God. The man that has to depart from evil. Evil is everything outside of God. Like we said, the music is evil. The movies are evil. The food is evil. You know what I'm saying? What we're thinking is evil. What we're breathing in is evil. Huh? But uh, we have to be transformed through Jesus Christ. He, he alone, man, has to be exalted. He alone has to get glory out of our lives. And if that and if we don't do it, our life is the evidence. Like I said, it's, that, that's where we we're going. We're going to lower dimensions, not higher, but lower. So that's how you see everybody. All right, that's what's up. That's that's what's up. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, so just take this knowledge with you as you walk off, man. As you leave, that everybody's a seed, man. Everybody's a seed, and even I don't care how much fun they think they have. They in hell, man. They're in hell. That's why they hate. I'm gonna throw another. Uh, 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 gold nugget at you. That's why people hate being alone. Because they're alone with themselves. And within themselves, they're desolate. They're empty. But when a person is born again in Christ, it's opposite. You can be alone. Jesus said, I'm alone, but I'm not alone. Even his disciples, everybody forsook him. You know? And he said, I'm alone, but I'm not alone. My father's with me. That's the gift he came to give us, is that we would never, you know, once we're born again, you know, washed in his blood, baptized in his name, filled with his Holy Spirit, we would never, ever be separated from God. We would never be alone. Hell is separation from God. That's, what, that's the true definition of hell. Separation from God. And the further we're away from God, the worse our life is. And another proof of that, again, like I said, is people, they can't stand being alone. When they're alone, they're left to themselves. And that's how Jacob was in the Bible. Jacob wrestled with the angel. Remember that story? He was wrestling with himself. He had to wrestle with himself, with his, his belief system. And he, and he, because and he, the, the evil side of us, that's the good and the evil of us. You heard that you seen the cartoons with an angel on this side, angel on that side. That's what it was. And he had to wrestle with himself and allow the Lord to be the Lord of his life. And once he did that, allowed the Lord to be his God and to guide his life, the Lord uh, touched the hollow of his thigh. That represented the, the Lord became Jacob's strength from that day on. He wrestled to the break another day with that angel. And the Lord took over. The, the Lord possessed him. We have to be possessed by the Lord. Otherwise, we're going to be possessed by the devil. That make sense? And the devil have us doing great things. And you, can, you, can, you might, if you continue what you're doing, even after today, you might become famous. But it'll be the devil doing it. Why? So you, because because people are going to gravitate to your music. Your spirit is going to connect with them. He's doing this every day. Whether they're rappers or heavy metals or rock and roll or you name it. R&B. You know. Uh, whatever the label to, of the music. He's in, uh, Satan owns it all. Everything out here he owns except the, the Bible and the spirit of God, the spirit of the Holy Ghost. He can't cross over there. That's holy ground. God has to have something to itself. That's what he says in the Bible. That's uh, Matthew 22, uh, I believe it, 
Matthew 22 and uh, uh, 27, 